the struggle you are in today is developing the strength you need for tomorrow hello friends kaise hain aap sab i hope you all are doing well in this lockdown today we are going to discuss commonly used methods for identification of microorganisms guys till now we have covered introduction to microbiology in the first part of our microbiology series if you haven't seen that video then fatak se click on right side i button so let's start for identification of microorganisms we generally use three types of methods staining method hanging top preparation stool or feces examination we will cover special staining technique and stool or feces examination in a separate video now coming on to gram staining question how are staining techniques classified answer into simple stain differential staining special staining first simple stain where any one stain is used and all bacteria are stained similarly example methylene blue dilute carbofuxin etc second differential staining where different bacteria stain differently to a common staining technique depending on their physiological properties example gram stain and acid fast staining special staining structures of bacteria like spores granules capsules etc are demonstrated example silver impregnation technique for demonstration of spirochetes bacteria fulgen stain for demonstration of nucleus sudan black stain for demonstration of lipid vacuoles rayose stain for demonstration of flagella albert stain for demonstration of metachromatic granules and negative staining where all the background is stained with an acidic dye such as india ink or nigrosin used for demonstration of capsules next who invented gram stain answer hans christian gram invented this stain in 1884 Next, what is the principle of gram staining? The structure of the organism cell wall determines whether the organism is gram positive or negative. When stained with a primary stain and fixed by a mordant, some bacteria are able to retain the primary stain by resisting decolorization, while other get decolorized by decolorizer. Those bacteria which retain the primary stain are called gram positive and which get decolorized and then get counter stained are called gram negative question what are the steps of gram staining answer first fixation then crystal violet iodine treatment decolorization and then counter stain with safranin next which is the most important step in gram staining answer decolorization is the most important step as this step differentiates between gram positive and gram negative bacteria over decolorization can result in gram positive bacteria appearing gram negative and under decolorization can result in gram negative bacteria appearing gram positive next what are the applications of gram staining answer rapid presumptive diagnosis of disease such as bacterial meningitis second selection of empirical antibiotics based on gram stain finding selection of suitable culture media based on gram stain finding screening of quality of clinical specimens such as sputum that should contain many pus cells and few epithelial cells counting of bacteria appreciation of morphology and types of bacteria in a clinical specimen next which part of the bacteria actually gets stained answer it is the cytoplasm especially the nucleic acid that gets stained and not the cell wall presence of an intact cell wall is important for retaining gram positivity cell wall deficient forms such as mycoplasma and l forms are gram negative next which are the bacteria or bacterial component that can't be stained by gram stain answer extremely slender bacteria such as streptomyces cells containing waxy substances impermeable to stain such as mycobacteria minute intracellular bacteria such as chlamydia and rickettsia cell organelles such as capsule spore flagella etc question which are the positive and negative controls for gram stain answer 
पॉजिटिव कंट्रोल स्टेफाइलोकोकाय नेगेटिव कंट्रोल ई कोलाय पस सेल्स एक्सेट्रा क्वेश्चन नेम ऑफ फंगस दैट इज ग्राम पॉजिटिव आंसर कैंडिडा स्पीशीज नेक्स्ट व्हिच आर द अल्टरनेटिव्स यूज्ड इन ग्राम स्टेन फॉर प्राइमरी स्टेन क्रिस्टल वायलेट मिथाइल वायलेट एंड जेंशियन वायलेट फॉर मॉडर्नट ग्राम्स आयोडीन रेयरली ल्यूगल्स आयोडीन डीकलराइजर alcohol acetone acetone alcohol mixture in the ratio of 1 is to 1 counter stain dilute carbofixin safranin neutral red sandy ford stain for gonococci now coming on to the topic hanging drop preparation question what is the purpose of hanging drop experiment and how it is prepared answer hanging drop is used to observe the motility of bacteria it is prepared from the bacterial growth provided in liquid culture medium in a test tube for hanging drop examination what is the magnification of microscope under which it is examined answer always first focus under low power objective that is 10x then turn on to the high power objective that is 40x never use oil immersion objective that is 100x for hanging drop examination With this we have completed our topic some commonly used methods for identification of bacterial culture now it's quiz time question why is gram staining used what is the principle of gram staining give some examples of gram positive bacteria what is the purpose of hanging drop preparation name some motile bacterial species dosto These topics are the roots of microbiology practicals. Start studying parallel to us to make your reading more beneficial. Answer the quiz in the comment box. We will be back soon with the next video of our ongoing series. Till then, bye bye. 